we're back. So when you're looking for um, the point of view, you want to make sure you look for those key pronouns, okay? Focus in on the I, the me, the my, the mine, the we, us, our, and ours for pronouns for the first person. And then you want to focus on he, him, his, she, her, they, their, and then when you're trying to figure out third person. Okay, so let's look at this paragraph. It says, I want to go to, cried my little brother and sister. I was tired of her following me around everywhere. Both of those are first person point of view. You can see that they highlighted the key words. Okay, and then you have third person. It says, Sue felt nervous. She hoped that she had studied enough. Last night, she hadn't felt like studying for the test. Now that the time of the test had arrived, however, she wished that she had studied more. Sue looked across the room and she spotted Sean. I wish I were like him, she thought. Okay. Here it talks about third person here. It uh, addresses the person by their name. And not only that, it talks um, about the third person in their uh, pronoun. Okay. Okay. So now here, um, it wants you to review and you're going to go back over the different things that include first person. It says, I had trouble sleeping that night because I was so thrilled about our plans for the next day. Okay. I'm going to stop there. Based on the first sentence alone, I see I and I an hour mentioned several times. So I know based off of that, it's first person. Coming back over to third person, says Brian had trouble sleeping that night because he was so thrilled about their plans for the next day. I can stop there. Based on them addressing them by their name and he, I can see those are key words that I can highlight and I know that that's third person. Okay, here's a writing extension on a separate sheet of paper or notebook composition. Do the activity below. It wants you to rewrite the first sentence point of view by changing the pronouns. Hint, pretend you are the character in this sentence. For example, when the scout presented the crystal to the ant, she took a small bite, then ate the entire thing. Okay, so how I would change that to first person is I would say when the scout presented the crystal to me, me being the first person point of view. I took us, I took, I, first person again, took a small bite, then quickly ate the entire thing. So here uh, you guys can stop and pause it, and then you can work out these sentences as a writing extension. Okay, here's some brain pop clips for deeper understanding. You're welcome to um, go to these different sites that's provided. If you do not have the information, um, the code of uh, username is HISD Valley West, and the password is HISD. Okay, as we end it, I want you guys to practice some sentence stems with your family. Okay, um, you can say this story blank has a blank narrator, and I know because blank. Okay, you can use any of these books to try to figure out what this book is. Is it first or third person? Okay, the story is told in the blank point of view. And does this story have first narrator or third narrator? How do you know? You can do these sentences by using any of the books that you choose. You can use a book at home or you can use a book on the hub or the public library online. OK, I hope you guys enjoyed um, this brief mini lesson and I uh, miss everyone and I hope you guys stay safe. OK, have a great day.